You're listening to The Power of Sound on Boombox Music Talk. One of the things that he's known for is these unconventional sounds and instruments and kind of ethnic instruments and really trying to go back to mm-hmm. human roots. The Hurdy Gurdy was a great starting point because unlike guitar and piano and fiddle, it's actually a foreign sound to most TV audiences. I mean, I, except for the fact that I play one, I wouldn't even know what one sounds like. And now, be that. the Russians are up for the Hurdy Gurdy. <laughs> All right. They take their stance and they turn the crank and here we go. It's got a crank. It's got a crank. One of the things through studying Bear to get ready for this episode that he mentions several times is that he had a a mentor named Elmer Bernstein that used to tell him to start a film with one sound, something unique that would grab the audience's attention. Not only visually and, you know, through the storyline and emotionally, but the music, it was just so much fun to tie all that together. Yeah. So it was a really captivating show. The music's part of the reason I stuck through it. Can also be used in some rock songs. <laughs> so could go I think on it's funny that, that it says that, and they're like, "Hey, it's for this." But if you want to use it in a different genre, we'll say okay. That's that's mm-hmm. fine. Oh well, hell yeah, it's okay. I'll do whatever I want. But what a cool instrument to pull out to mimic zombies who have skin and flesh everywhere. Mm-hmm. You could actually build one from stuff around you, sort <laughs> yes. of. You know takes these instruments and, and uses creates them it. like unorthodoxically basically yeah, he like, does the same kind of thing almost like it's a synthesizer yeah. using it in that way but it's all it's natural super instruments cre- yeah and it's the universe is at my disposal yeah. let's go see what happens the <laughs> wacky adventures of spacemen boombox music talk the podcast available now